boys the cam dog is back as most of you know it has a build engine put it back in the car didn't take us long we fried the gearbox already uh, the synchros just don't like changing eight and a half thousand so the auto here is a four speed it's an a244e from the paseo we sent the auto down to mv automatics down to adelaide and they stripped the whole thing back they've disabled the overdrive so we just have first second and third they've changed the valve body they've got some modified one which apparently is better and this is a dominator stall converter. The stall should be around 3,800 to 4,000 RPM. We have a shifter from B&M, shifter cable. We have this casing that's come with it. We'll see if we can use that or not. And we have a transmission cooler from PWR. And there's still sand everywhere. Sand, where'd that come from? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Times we pull that out now. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. And also, over 400 horsepower in a stock flywheel. Probably not ideal. Heard stories of these exploding and going through the floor, not on Starlets, but just on Skyline and stuff like that. But she held together. So to be honest, it was probably 500 through the flywheel. Yeah. Alright, we've got gearbox out. We've got the little spacer here and the flexi plate. We've encountered a problem. Bolt holes are wrong. This is out of a 5E, you can't use it. Luckily we have a 4E one here. All right, ran to the first drama already. We don't have a little sandwich plate for an auto gearbox. So when we try and bolt this on, we're not gonna be able to reach the bolt holes. No idea where we're gonna get one of these from. So we're just gonna modify it and chop the base fit off there.
But we've been told the manual drive shafts are meant to go straight in, so we're gonna find that out now. Ah, auto and manual drive shafts are exactly the same. So trying to bolt this in, all the engine mounts were different. The bracket that usually bolts on here, as you can see, that's, this is a manual one, doesn't fit. The bracket that goes on here is also different and the engine mount that goes on the top is one of these aluminium ones. So all the engine mounts are different. We sorted all that out and then she bolted straight in. It's all looking pretty good now. We've put some oil in there and we've got the oil cooler now. I need to go up and try and try and figure out where we're going to mount that. sitting somewhere like that. Get some air in here and uh, hopefully cool the oil down. So I need to make some spaces up now to hold that off the floor a little bit. Should be sweet, mate. Well, we've got the gearbox in. It's in there somewhere under all that wiring. Need to pull that shifter out and figure out where the ratchet's gonna go. Mm. Oh, we need to whip those screws out. Uh, they're fu More just where the hole is. Alright, shifter upside down. Easy. Keep going. So, what's wrong with the brand new shifter box? This is hitting on the little plastic surround where the gear shifter pokes through, it's in the way. The part that we've trimmed should give us enough room now. Alright, so we didn't need to trim that. We're going to have to cut a bit out of this plastic. Oops. Alright, let's, let's try again. Alright, Nick, run us through the gears. Alright, we're in park. Reverse, neutral, three, two, one. That's as far back as it goes. So we're driving off in first. One, da, second, da, third. Neutral, reverse, park. We're on, we're on. We know now the shifter cable is gonna be right next to the exhaust, so we put some of this heat sleeve on there. Now, we pop this through the floor. So we've encountered a little problem. 
There's a hump on the floor there. Okay, we're in park, go reverse, neutral, three, two, one. All right, everything's clearing on this end. So this here's where the oil pressure sensor is gonna go. It was gonna interfere with the bracket and the cable there, so we're running a little short cable up to the top, and we can put the sensor in there, that way we can monitor the pressure and the temperature of the oil. So this is the last part before we can drive it. This is the neutral start switch, which goes on the side of the gearbox. On here you've got, I just wrote these out, so when the shifter cable's moving, it moves this. Reverse, neutral, three, two, one. So we don't need to have any electronics for park, reverse, or neutral, or third, but one and two won't work unless we add some wires. We've got the Toyota manual here. Two big pins in the middle. Two big pins in the middle of this neutral start switch. If you look on here, two and three is the large pins, which is a neutral start. So if you have a starter motor wire, comes from the key, goes to the starter motor, you'd run it through pins two and three, which are these larger ones, and then the, the neutral start switch will work. So the electronics for gears one, two, and three. Pin six is power, so you want 12 volt supply to that, which is that one there. Gear one is pin four, gear two is pin nine, gear three is pin eight. So the wires are pinned in now, we've got all the ones we need. So we're just going to fill that now with epoxy and then the pins are in there forever. Okay, this is a bit harder than pressing that. bit of juice. Right, so we've, we've mounted the automatic shift box here, all wired up. All we need to do is just connect that to a ground. This needs to go to the reverse light, which I imagine is that one there on the old manual. Correct. So then when we go into the reverse gear, we have our lights, and that just needs to go to power, which we'll get from any output on the Haltech. Expecting that. Where is it connected? Yeah, I didn't think about that. It wasn't working. I was like, stock cable needs to go. We've been working for hours to try and get this throttle body done and we were nearly done and then I dropped it on the ground and it broke the end of the TPS off. It looks like these tabs are, are just touching in there somewhere else, so we're going to try and super glue this back on and then we're going for a drive. We're pretty much ready to go for a drive. Yep, like that. Oh, my fingers are the glued. The pins look bent as, but... My fingers are glued to the connector. It's gonna go. Yeah. Yep.
So we're getting close to finishing. We've just rigged up the uh, throttle bracket. And the most important part of this is there's a oil pump pressure regulator cable. And as the throttle gets pulled, we needed to attach the cable um, to the throttle body so when it moves, go pu push the pedal Peter, it pulls that cable. So we also had to make up a bracket for that as well. On and off. Let's see, sweet. All right, we're on. Got to plug the TPS in. It's the eye of the tiger. Oh, it's hitting the bottom of the bracket. Oh, yes. So we've just calibrated the TPS. Hang on. Go and push it. <laughs> We're on, boys. We're going. So that's pretty much it there. We're ready, ready to fire up. Yeah. Go backwards. Stop, stop, yep. There's some behind you. <laughs> we got drive. We did something right. Screwdriver, Peter? 